Hi, I'm Sarah Jane. Welcome to my kitchen. Have you ever wondered what the real deal is regarding sugar? Is it toxic? How much is too much? Are there really different types of sugar? Well, I'm here to deliver the sweet truth to you when it comes to sugar. First, it's important to know that foods contain two types of sugar, the naturally occurring and the added kind. The naturally occurring kind comes in the form of lactose found in dairy foods like milk and yogurt and fructose found in fruits and 100% fruit juices. The added kinds come in the form of table sugar, syrups, and other sweeteners and are added to some foods during processing. One of the major differences between naturally occurring and added sugars is that naturally occurring sugars come with a nutrient package of vitamins and minerals with protein or fiber and more. But added sugars are typically empty calories and do not offer any nutritional benefits. Added sugars can contribute to weight gain and poor nutrition, so much so that the American Heart Association recommends that women have no more than 100 calories from added sugars per day and that men have no more than 150 per day. However, it is not always easy to spot added sugars on a nutrition label. But just this past year, the Food and Drug Administration passed legislation that will require manufacturers to list added sugars on the label under the total sugars line within the next two years, so be watching for that. Until then though, I have some tips to help you spot added sugars and how to cut back on them. First, be cereal savvy. One sneaky sugar source is box hot and cold cereals. Look at the ingredient list that is located on the package under the Nutrition Facts label. Ingredients are listed in the order of the amount that they occur in the product. So whatever is listed first is what it contains the most of. So if you see sugar, or another word that means sugar, so that could include things like brown rice syrup or evaporated cane juice, listed within the first three ingredients, chances are that it's high in added sugars. Instead, choose a cereal without added sugars, like these oats here, and sweeten it yourself using fruit or honey or just a little bit of sugar. One of my favorite tricks is to cook plain oatmeal in 100% grape juice instead of water. I top it off with peanut butter and a sliced banana and y'all, it is just like a PB&J, but sans the added sugar. Next, rethink your drink. Obviously, sugar sweetened beverages like soda, sweet tea, and specialty coffee drinks are a big source of added sugars. Milk and 100% fruit juice contain naturally occurring sugars, but are a healthy choice as long as you watch your portion size. That's eight ounces for milk and four ounces for juice. If plain water seems just plain boring, try sparkling water, either plain or with a splash of 100% juice for flavor. Then toss the sauce. Store-bought sauces and salad dressings are often surprisingly packed with added sugars. So again, check the ingredient list and pick versions without added sugars, or better yet, make your own. It's super simple. Just check out my easy recipe for homemade salad dressing in my first Cooking with Sarah Jane video. Last but not least, DIY your yogurt. Plain yogurt has naturally occurring sugar from the milk in it, but some flavored varieties can have more added sugar than ice cream. Keep this in mind when you're ordering smoothies as well. Ditch the added sugar in either of these by choosing a plain variety and adding your own flavors and textures by adding things like fresh or dried fruit, nuts, and even dark chocolate chips. I think you'll feel better than ever when you cut back on added sugars in your diet. You'll enjoy more energy, better sleep, and less weight gain. Cheers to that. I'm Sarah Jane. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today.